stage seven is something that is more or less hypothetical. That would be the stage in which it's basically a transhumanist stage in which you understand how you work, in which the mind fully realizes how it's implemented and uh, can also in principle enter different modes in which it could be implemented. And that's a stage that, as, uh, as far as I understand, is not open to people yet. Oh, but it is possible through the process of technology. Yes, and who knows if there are biological agents um, that are working at different time scales than us that basically become aware of the way in which they are implemented on ecosystems and um, can change that implementation and have agency over how they're implemented in the world. And what I find interesting about the discussion about AI alignment, that it seems to be following these stages very much. Most people seem to be in stage three, also according to Robert Keegan. Mm -hmm. I think he says that about 85% of people are in stage three and stay there. Mm -hmm. And if you're in stage four, uh, four uh, three and your opinions are the result of social assimilation, then what you're mostly worried about in the AI is that the AI might have the wrong opinions. Yeah. So if the AI says something racist or sexist, we are all lost because uh, we will assimilate the wrong opinions from the AI. And so we need to make sure that the AI has the right opinions and the right values and the right structure. And um, if you are at stage four, that's not your main concern. And so most nerds are, don't really worry about um, the, um, the algorithmic bias and the model that it picks up because if there's something wrong with this bias, the AI ultimately will prove it. At some point, we'll get it there that it makes mathematical proofs about reality and then it will figure out um, what's true and what's false. But you're still worried that the AI might turn you into paperclips because it might have the wrong values, right? Yeah. So if it's set up with the wrong function uh, that controls its direction in the world, then um, it might do something that is completely horrible and there's no easy way to fix it. So that's more like a stage four rationalist kind of yes. worry. And if you are at stage five, you're mostly worried that the AI is not going to be enlightened fast enough because you realize that the game is not so much about intelligence, but about agency, about the ability to control the future. And the identity is instrumental to this. And if you are, are a human being, I think at some level you ought to choose your own identity. It's mm -hmm. You should not have somebody else pick the costume for you and then wear it. But instead, you should be mindful about what you want to be in this world. And I think if you are an agent that is fully malleable, that can rewrite its own source code, like an AI might do at some point, then the identity that you will have is whatever you can be. And in this way, the AI will maybe become everything, mm -hmm. like a planetary control system. And if it does that, then if we want to coexist with it, it means that it will have to share purposes with us. So it cannot be a transactional relationship. We will not be able to use reinforcement learning with human feedback to hardwire uh, its values into it. Mm -hmm. But this has to happen is probably that it's conscious, so it can relate to our own mode of existence where an observer is observing itself in real time and mm -hmm. within certain temporal frames. And the other thing is that it probably needs to have some kind of transcendental orientation, building shared agency. Mm -hmm. And in the same way as we do when we are able to enter with each other into non-transactional relationships. And I find that something that, because the stage five is so rare, is is missing in much of the discourse. And I think that we need, in some sense, focus on how to formalize love, how to understand love, and how to build it into the machines that we are currently building and that are about to become smarter than us.